All right, so this week's topic of Amuna Mondays was the doubtful journey. The reason I chose this topic was simply because, one, I felt like it went hand in hand with this week's Parsha, which is Bishalaf. In this week's Parsha, we actually leave Egypt and take the entire journey into the desert, Man, everything. Like all those things are in this week's Parsha. So the reason it's called the doubtful journey is because the Parsha opens up with with the phrase st stating the fact that Hashem um, took us out of Egypt, but he took us into the, like through the desert in a roundabout way. And it was to avoid the, there was like bones and, and, and bodies that have died in this portion, in, the, in that part through that path that was a lot quicker. Like they could have went through the path a lot quicker, but they, there was like bones and stuff and Hashem didn't want the Jews uh, he didn't want that um, the Jewish nation to be scared and run back to Egypt. So he took them in a roundabout way, which then brings the obvious question of how would like why would the Jews be scared like how, if they just left Egypt and after witnessing all ten plagues, like all the like imagine being locked in to a like. Maximum security prison, death row, isolation, all that, like max guards on you. And you just walked through untouched. You're just leaving. And now you're going to be like scared and worried. Like, what do you mean? It, it didn't really make sense. How would the, why would the Jews be terrified? Like, why would they still be scared and run back after witnessing everything that Hashem just did? And I believe the, and I, again, this totally can be somebody could totally mention it i'm just saying it the, w the way that i came about it but i believe that um the jewish like the reason for that for it was was because hashem understood the fact that they were slaves for years years before and it was instilled in them and like in their souls to the point like it was like it became natural habit to to just like the the, the victim mentality and the minute they would go out and see those things, they would just run back to to run right back to to Egypt. And Hashem understood that. Hashem understood the previous traumas that they went through will play a role. And I think there's like a huge lesson to be learned from that. And that is, life is formed to you. Life has everything. Like things happen, and everyone everyone has a story. Everybody suffered something. Everybody has traumas. And they all, and it always will play a role in your life, in your decision making, and all that. And Hashem understands those concerns and those worries, and you're not punished for them. He's not looked down upon, like none of that. It's Hashem understands it to the point where He actually custom made an entire journey mapped out, factoring in the fears that they will have, even though you think, well, Hashem should honestly take offense to the point, like, how are you guys? gonna like still be scared in this and that Hashem understood they have the victim mentality they just came out of being prisoners and slaves for years and years that he understood and custom made them a a new route but the beautiful thing is that even on the journey you have to understand like them them in the desert was honestly like like they had everything they had a cloud covering them from up top shade breeze everything they had a, another cloud protecting them from attacks on anything whether it's like snakes or or armies chasing them and like arrows shooting and all that they had man which hashem promised every single day he told them take a portion every single day and this and that do not save it all these things like and they had if you look in like a, a it's either a rashi or mefarish that explains their clothing even didn't they didn't grow out of the clothing and two they were freshly washed every day and that's like amazing to think if you think about it that's like borderline heaven you'd think like they have every single thing taken care of but yet the beauty of it is hashem said to keep going keep on going don't just sit in the desert with all this and and that, <coughs> and that brings like another lesson of you're not life's not meant to be comfortable it's not meant to be comfortable because if it was Hashem would have left us in the desert. It was extremely comfortable. But he showed us comfort is not the answer. You have to go and go and go. And life is going to form to you. Just like the clothes on their back formed to them. They, they were in the desert for over 40 years. For 40 years. And that 40 years you grow. But yet their clothes 
grew with them. It all Hashem instilled this entire journey was instilling in them emuna and trust in God and bitachon and everything. And yet Hashem still to this day is doing that. We still have Shabbat. Shabbat is a day that's completely based on emuna and, and bitachon in Hashem. And he's still teaching the same lesson. Like we have teachers nowadays that after 10 minutes of kids not knowing it, they're kicking them out of class or freaking out on them or like losing patience even parents losing patience with their kids and stuff like that but at the end of the day Hashem is, has unlimited patience to the point where it's thousands of years went by and he's still trying to instill this stuff in us and he's not cutting us like cutting us off and being like oh my gosh you guys are just annoying get out blah blah, blah. I'm done with you guys he's not doing that he's not he's completely loving he's completely caring and he's understanding of what we've gone through and all the challenges we've had in our life and it dictates and plays a role in the decisions we make Hashem factors all of that in and we see that strictly from this Parsha how he literally made them go in a roundabout way custom made them a new route because of the fact that he was adjusting to them and that's just beautiful, I feel. And, and and on top of that, we still complained. They were still complaining. Even with all those things, they were complaining, being like, oh, we're in the desert for so long. Hashem's honestly, like, if he was going to kill us here, he might as well just left us in, in Egypt. Which, again, they were still doubting. But there, Hashem is still protecting them and still going. Because Hashem understands what we've gone through and that's like the beautiful thing so yeah the entire journey they've doubted the entire journey as miraculous as the journey was there was doubt every single moment every moment there was doubt and like the fact is that it, it, that's where the title came from the doubtful journey that it wasn't it was a journey filled with so much imune and bitachon opportunity and yet we still found a way to doubt and the reason behind it is because it's it was instilled in us the slavery and this type of mentality and hashem understood that and didn't get mad at us didn't get frustrated this thing he just kept forming it around us and that's like the beautiful thing about hashem is we all have made we all have a past we all have ptsd from something or traumas and this and that and and don't allow it to dictate your entire life don't allow it because Understand Hashem is walking side by side with you, holding your hand and with you in life. Like when we see celebrities with uh, with securities and all these like guns and this and that, they feel all safe and everything. We have to understand we have that times like a million. And that's like Hashem right by our side. The only thing is we don't walk around with the confidence that they have. We don't walk around with the feeling safe. And that's our problem. The problem is, is that we don't actually realize Hashem is right here on the side with us. And, and that was this week's topic. And I hope it... it kick starts your entire week. Thank you. Another episode of Immuno Mondays. Here we go. Here we go. Let's start another week. Another topic. More inspiration. All right, here we go.